All right, guys, what's going on? This is Will from your home ironing business. Um, wanted to go through a few things today. Uh, something I don't, I think one guy talked about it, about his swatch machine. I actually wanted to talk about it as well today. So I'm going to point out a few items real quick about a swatch machine and see if this helps. But first, check this out. That's right. Work is back. Order, 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 orders. That's why I said repeat business. This is why I like it so much. Um, one thing I've noticed with the swash machines is usually the door will go bad. Um, I have one over here that I don't use as much, but I have a towel under it. So the towel is under, when you pull this one out, this one like touches the floor. Usually it's about that high off the floor, that touches the floor. So I put a towel in there and usually, see, see how it's not working? And it's something with the towel itself or the, the door itself is leaning too forwards. It'll come on, but sometimes it'll kick back off. I just wanna, I have to figure out what I can use under there like some type of stopper to make it work. And sometimes it'll work and stop right in the middle of the cycle. This is the only one I have that does this, but I've actually heard this happening to the swash machines. Once again, it's weird because, you know, once you start learning about certain things, you learn the ins and the outs. And uh, I'm gonna see how this one runs this course and see if it does. If not, I just have to work with the towel again and get it. But I'm, I have to figure out something, like I'm gonna get a piece of rubber or something because I ain't let these things go. Uh, until they just completely just go bad. So we'll find out. On to the wall. Sometimes I should put my phone on airplane mode, but I don't. All right, so the washer. Got me another washer coming in. Uh, stopped at an appliance place uh, and bought it, a used one. And this one is an older Kenmore. Uh, has a nostalgic look and there are parts still readily available for it. Uh, I noticed that my newer machines always have a problem. The older one, I had a really old Kenmore washer that someone still got today. And I gave that to them years ago. For right now, that thing's still popping. But uh, this will be delivered tomorrow, so I finally have another washer coming in, and um, that'll stop me from, you know, having to go to the laundromat. All right, so let's see. So these are the things that you go through uh, in the business, and you just have to get savvy and understand what to do with it. So. Um, Hopefully, uh, like I said, it ain't really hopefully. I bought it. There's a 90 day warranty on it. And uh, I usually kind of do research on washers like he had two classic ones. And with the classic ones, the one thing I like, the classic ones can be repaired. Um, this one I got over here is not a classic one. The guy who got this for me got it from someone, fixed a couple parts on it, and unfortunately the transmission died. So uh, these happen, but that thing pays for itself. Uh, this one's an old classic one. I'll show it to you tomorrow once it's here. And uh I am going to probably start saving. I would like an energy saver one. I've seen one that I liked a lot, but um, these things be gone. Every time I get on Amazon, it's like, sold, 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 not available. So I'm wondering to myself, I have been thinking about creating uh, or designing a space saver washer. I could do it. I just had to sit down and think about it. I mean, they make the compact ones. But the weird thing about the compact ones are, I was looking at a video of a lady in India, and she had a comp. She had one like the one I have in my house, but it was bigger. And I was like, "Why oh, they sell that here?" And she had it outside. She's washing the neighborhood's clothes, but it was at least five times bigger than the one I got here because she was putting in loads and loads of clothes. I was like, and then it had um. I could barely see a name on it, like something laundry. And then I, I found on my spinner, it was like the Laundry Alternative Incorporated. So I'm going to research that for a little while. And they have a, a, a really neat little contraption that you could put on a bucket and wash clothes. I was like, wow, I see the lady do it with a jacuzzi thing in her tub. I was like, I always like looking at ideals. Looks like it's still washed. I mean, this wash machine still working. Um, that's kind of it for today. I'm going to rest up because I'm really tired. I, I wore myself out last week and this week. So um, I'll probably hang with my daughter for a little while today and talk to her and sit around, do something. But all right, guys, you know what I always say, and I say it all the time, adjust your hustle and bet on you. Get out there and make some money because ironing the clothes makes money. All right, guys, later. All right, guys, so what's if you see the title of it, you kind of know what it is. I got another washer in. I'm going to use it and see how this one does. This is an old Whirlpool. Now, believe it or not, I know some people be like, well, 
I could buy a brand new one, but for right now, I just kind of want to get one I use for the business and just something I wanted to get. So this one is a heavy duty, uh, super capacity washing machine. It's an old school one. Now, believe it or not, the old school washing machines are good machines. This one came out of another person's house who was sitting and I got it for about 130 bucks. Uh, after after delivering everything, it was like 190, close to 200 bucks. Which again, I just need something that's going to wash for right now. Um, we'll see how this one works, and we'll see how this one works, and uh, I'll get back to you. Like I said, that's a Whirlpool, and uh, my little dryer. That's an old Kenmore, and this one is a Whirlpool. They work well. I need to clean them off today, but we shall see. We shall see. All right, guys, I'm gonna end the video off. Uh, got it working. I thought something was wrong with it, but my buddy, uh, my maintenance guy told me exactly what to do to it. So uh, it was something we had to reverse on it. But back in the game again. Um, I'm going to uh, end the video here. And, and like I told you guys, um, I got to clean my room up. But uh, love my chair. All right, well, it's a mess. I got to get to cleaning my room. I got to get up early. But, um, like I say, adjust your hustle, bet on you, and get done. I'm back in the game again, my machine's going. I'm tired, I'm sorry guys. Later, if you have any questions, any comments, please leave them below because um, I know this business pretty well and um, I've done a lot with it and I still make money at it. And if you want a free dapper sticker, matter of fact, I'm gonna pull them out and I'll show you to you in the next segment. All right, guys, real quick. I was saying this earlier, and I said it a couple times. If you like to get a dapper closed care system decal, which these are nice, shiny ones. I love these. Or a Bosu America decal. Look at that. For my, you know, uh, car culture buddies, I guess. Let me know. Inbox me. I'll send you it for free. I have no problem doing that because I make these to give away. I love the dapper one. That is awesome. Dapper closed care system. This actually decal is thanks to my buddy Jacob who actually um, does these for me. He does a great job. And I love the Bosu America one. So anybody who's into the cars, uh, if you're watching this and you want a Bosu America decal, let me know. I'll send you two for free. All right? All right, guys. I'm out of here. Adjust your hustle and bet on you. I'm out. All right, guys, what's going on? This is Will from your home ironing business. I'm actually in my room. Wanted to kind of do a short video on something on like my swash machine. So I have a pair of pants here that I have hanging on. I'll talk about this item in a minute that I have hanging up here. And you get close enough to them, they're pretty wrinkled. As you see, they need a little bit of help. You know, it doesn't do no justice when you're looking at them on the camera. But I want to show you something that... um something about the swash machine why I like it because these are just a pair of pants and one of the items that I love to use is the downy wrinkle release releaser so what I would do is just spray these pants and these are my pants just for the sake of argument nothing nothing super duper special about them just wanted to do um kind of just mess with something on, on the end of this video just to show you know what how, how good this product really is and it's weird because when these products come out, a whole bunch of products like this will come out at one time. It'd be like, wow, everybody's got a, a wrinkle releaser. How I started using this one is beyond me. I just got it and I just started using it and I love it. So I'm going to put this in the swash machine and show you what it looks like afterwards. And then I'll talk about this item. All right. So as I was saying, let me move this thing out of here. Uh, this thing, I found this thing. Somebody had set it out. And it's probably for someone that had it, you know, like medical reason. But someone has set this thing out on the trash. I found it. It's got wheels on it. I love this item because I can actually make this go up. And the simple reason why I use it is because of dresses. So if you have dresses or jackets to work on, you can put that thing up really high. That's why I like it so much. And uh, I could put something on there, work on it, steam it, suit jackets, you name it. I could do something with it. So it's like one of those extra items that I have uh, in my arsenal that I use in my cleaning business. Love this thing. But uh, I'm going to get those pants out and I'm going to show you exactly what they look like afterwards. And I kept these. Bossman was throwing these away. I actually just took them home with because I put them in a coat that I put in a closet. You know, they're old now and um, they, they can still be used. I'm just one of those guys. I reuse everything. And they were going to go in the trash. So I just took them 
and uh, I'm going to put them in there. I have some other expander things, but uh, I use those for suit jackets and anything where I can steam. So it's always an item you can use or repurpose. All right, guys, I'll show you those pants when I get done. Matter of fact, I need to pull that back in there so I can hang the pants up and talk about them. Candy makes you cough. Doesn't it, Jan? Is it delicious? Is it delicious? Yeah, you be grabbing at them cookies, don't you? All right, so. Jan, give me a second here. Give me a second. So, these are the pants. I'm going to pull them out the swatch machine, hang them up, and talk about it just for a second. All right, so, as you guys can see, now that I took them out the swatch machine, I don't think they look bad. They still need to be ironed. Uh, but for something, you need to just throw in the machine real quick and get moving. Oops. <laughs> Let me fix it. Well, I ain't going to do nothing. Let's just hold on one second. Up and tighten that. There we go. So for something, you could just throw in the machine like if you're in a rush to get out. Because I can still see, you know, you can still see wrinkles, period, on it. And it's something that you still may have to do some iron. I'm sorry, the camera's all over the place because I wanted to hang them up. Uh, something you just want to iron up real quick and get done, you can. I'm actually going to put them in the pants press next and show you what they look like after that. But after this, I'm just going to hang them up and send them on. But just wanted to show you something. Those wash machines are worth their weight in gold. Some people think they aren't, but I do. And if any given time, you can go on Facebook Marketplace and find one of those. Some practically new for 100 bucks, probably in your area. So they're worth their weight in gold when you put your hands on it. I say if you see one and you're in this business, grab one. I think they work well because even after I iron some clothes, I like to put them in there and I like to um, put, you know, a little bit of the, the I use it for breeze or I use the pods. And, man, it brings a scent to the clothes that I think is worth doing. All right, guys, this is Will at your ironing, you know, ironing business at home. You guys get out there and make some money, adjust your hustle, and bet on you. I'm out, guys.